All right, welcome, welcome back to the Entrepreneur to Entrepreneur Shift the Culture podcast. And yes, people, that is Mr. Travis Miller himself. He has graced us with his presence once again. Hey, everybody. And you know, it was a blue moon the other day, right? Yeah. Well, it was it literally was a, a blue moon the other day. So I think that's why Travis is here today, because a blue moon was just the other day. And you know, people are saying, uh. we only see you once every blue moon. So Travis had to show his face because a blue moon reached before Travis. So welcome back wow. to the show, Mr. Miller. We appreciate you. <laughs> we appreciate you. Yeah. And of course, we have Jay Isaacs to my left, who has been here for the past, how long? I don't know. He was come just about every week. Almost yeah, almost every week for now. And we also have the wonderful, intelligent, social media expert, entrepreneur extraordinaire, Dazi Be- uh, uh, Benby is on the phone. All of that. Thank you. Last name you know. That's crazy. Now I know you're Benby. Yeah, he... Give it on my government name. Oh, government. <laughs> At least I say the whole thing. I still say Dazzy. Do you want to share the NIB number as well? <laughs> At least I say Dazzy. I, know, right? I gotta call your middle name upload, too. I gotta oh, upload my biometrics oh, oh. right now. <laughs> but Dazzy is on the phone, so here. um, we have hey, a y'all. packed show today, and uh, we're going to be discussing the topic of exploitation versus exposure. And for those that don't know, there was a video earlier this week of a young lady who was enjoying herself. I'm guessing she was on vacation in the wonderful state of Florida. And uh, she gave a big promotion to Florida because she said Florida at least about 672 times in the video. (laughs) And she was bragging about the fact that she's in Florida. And uh, she said, break people go to Miami, but she in Florida. So yeah, on the trolley. But that that video wasn't as big. That wasn't as big. But, that um, was my it, favorite, though. That was your favorite day. Yeah, that was, that yeah, was funny. Because <laughs> I realized that I never did the trolley. Me neither. I didn't even no. know trolleys could be so fun. I go on over in two weeks. Listen, news? I'm seeking out a trolley. <laughs> she's seeking out a trolley. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tazi says she's seeking out a trolley. Shop, but definitely oh. the big malls, they love the trolleys. And, and uh, some airports. Okay. Uh, but anyhow, she went uh, viral. I mean, the video, how how it... I think the original video got definitely more than 20,000 views for sure. And for sure. then um, there were, you know, follow-up videos that did just about as well of people imitating her and doing their own version of the Florida the Challenge. Face. The Florida Challenge. The yeah. Florida Challenge, yep. And everyone was doing it. And it went viral. And from what I've seen over the past day or so, uh, her taking pictures with people from Alive and, you know, they have the little caricatures that they do. They actually made one of her. So they, they made some deal with this young lady. Uh-huh. over the fact that she went viral and now the discussion is being had on whether it's a good thing or a bad thing because people are happy for her you have people on one side they're happy for her saying you know yo we're making fun of her now look she getting that uh-huh. money she got this deal the sponsorship and then you have other people who are upset because she got a deal and saying that the company is just taking advantage of her and um, promoting the wrong thing. Right. And promoting the wrong thing at the same mm-hmm. time because it was, I guess the video was based off of ignorance because she wasn't aware that Miami was actually in Florida. So you have that. So we're going to discuss, is it what, what, in your opinion, is it exploitation or is it good exposure or good uh, promotion on behalf of the company that gave her the, uh, the deal? Uh, mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, like, so I, so. As a disclaimer, I didn't watch the video until now. Mm-hmm. That's that's. Um, what, and this is the promotion. Uh, mm-hmm. I see, said the blind man. <laughs> um, like I said, I didn't see the video till now. Uh-huh. Uh, and then I guess you said people were making fun of the video, right? So I, I'm definitely not down with that. Mm-hmm. Just from a cyberbullying type of thing. Um, but I get, uh, I get the story of redemption. I guess that a company came in and swooped in and kind of. Well, I mean, if you look at it that way, so the, I guess the argument is, is it being exploited? Um, but from initially hearing this thing, the first thing I could think about is when the, uh, you remember when the slabs, you know, the dude who was in the, the supermarket, the young dude, mm. and he was talking about how he has slabs and bubs. No. So, like he was throwing the money in. Oh, oh, the, 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 the packing boy. Yeah, the packing oh, boy. Packing boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, was yeah, a yeah. thing for a while. I mean, it wasn't really, I guess, tied to intelligence or nothing like that, mm-hmm. but like, that was a viral thing for a second. Yeah. I think people started to hop on that mm-hmm. in one way or next. So mm-hmm. I don't really see too uh, too much of it. From what I know, the context different from what's going on right now. I guess it would be more viral because social media is more popular. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, I don't really know what the deal she would have struck mm. with alive. The devil is in the details, right? So uh. what's the real? Did they come in to like? 
uh, to you know to save or like Jay, I don't do, know. Jay you're shaking but your head. Jay, Jay. Do, do you have fill us in? Information? Fill us in and, and with your inside information yeah. on the based, details. Based on what I know, pretty much is they what they want to do is ca- wanted to do is capitalize on the viral content, mm-hmm. right? Okay. So they saw this young girl. They she did do the crying thing with the snotty nose about how she is being bullied. So, what is what? Really? Yeah, they, they saw. They I saw, didn't see that I one. I didn't see the video, but I saw like screenshots of it. It was not. So I got a little bit of inside really information too. So. Um, <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. But with Alive, did they step in? Um, mm-hmm. They they took got a degree to use her likeness in exchange for a phone or whatever. So they switched to to the Alive service, and they pretty much used the catchy um, uh, content that she was using. Like I in Florida, so while I'm roaming in Florida, y'all stuck in Nassau. Mm-hmm. My problem with them is one, they exploited her because she can't get. It's not exposure because she won't be able to capitalize with any other company with this because they'll be shy about touching it because they don't promote quote unquote ignorance. Mm. And also it was dumb on a lies part because they were so hurry to to put this content out that they made a lot of mistakes in the promotion of it. So they insulted what were the, what were the mistakes? Um in one of the hashtags read um making boss moves with a live um only break people with the other company so my problem is while you could down you could diss your competition mm-hmm. you never diss the people that uh see who you want to be your clients mm-hmm. by insulting their yeah. economic um, oh so you mean from like a high okay so like really like throwing shade at yeah. people who still on btc or yeah you don't do that like uh, yeah, so but from a corporate standpoint, you go corporate to corporate. You man, never this, hit the hit the target audience. This sound like this got sway. complicated really fast. But no, that has been the tone. I didn't reach someone and I said it was dumb. Yeah, yeah but that has been the tone of a lives marketing from day one. I don't know if you remember the savage hashtags. I mean, they came out of the the gate with the same sort of thread. So I actually wasn't with surprised BTC, to see them. Never, uh, with, with the people that supported you mean, BTC. You mean directly to BTC and not the customers? Correct. The never the customers. Uh, yeah. It, it kind of no, never the customers. Them. But it yeah. doesn't shock me because it's like someone saying, well, oh, um, this guy I'm seeing, you know, he's nice to me. He's only mean to the waiters. It's eventually going to jump the horse, right? So yeah. I wasn't surprised to see the hashtag directed at it's customers or the pros- the prospective customers. I think because, like I said, that's always been the tone like, of their marketing. What's your, what's your position <laughs> on that, Dodazi? Do you do you support that? Do you think it's a good move or not? Um, I'm if I can just ignore the hashtags for a second, right? Okay. Um, the fact because I spoke to someone today actually who kind of is like a little bit of an insider, but this this girl was bullied so bad online. Um, about the video, people insulting her, people making memes comparing her to like. Um, I, I don't remember the name of the character. Donkey, from Some, Donkey. Correct. What? Correct. You know, so it, she, it was at the point she was she was thinking about actually quitting her job. Okay, okay. that's how embarrassed she is. That's how. No um, that's just life sorry. No yeah, so it, it 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 went really overboard, and apparently, um, personality wise, she's very um. You know, she's, I don't want to use the word soft, but she's, a, she's kind of a sensitive person. She's so I don't think she would have made that type of video if she thought it was going to be exposed to the world. You know, sometimes you make videos for your friends and you're like, look here, y'all break. You know, I got this money, maybe for a little group on WhatsApp or something. You know, you can be a little more, you, you, you do things that you wouldn't necessarily expose to the world, right? right. So I think it's unfortunate that it happened now because she definitely wasn't prepared. But on the other hand, I think that Alive did a good thing stepping in and kind of like changing the tide. Like, okay, y'all will laugh at her, but yeah. hey, you know, we're, she, look at what she's doing to capitalize off of this. And then I love the fact that Bahamas now see attention as currency, right? Because right? mm-hmm. you have a lot of people in this country that feel so intellectually superior mm-hmm. that they feel that only college degrees should be rewarded. And it's like the world has changed. You know, nobody cares. That's a good perspective. What, Correct. So that's yeah. that's the elements of it that I do like. Mm-hmm. And the part that I really dislike is how people kept insisting, you know, she's so dumb and just making yeah. themselves seem a lot more intelligent. And but, I'm like, hey, you can't be that smart if you don't realize that this is the way marketing works in the world now. But, 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 but in the world, you got to realize if, if you ever had the opportunity to watch Black Mirror. You yeah. understand how dangerous the world we live in is right now. Like you could like yeah. you could literally... And you don't know what people like me- mental state is. Like people could literally commit suicide by oh, doing this stuff. Now me. it's now it's two components Correct. of this now. So I would say that 
from the perspective of the individual with your own smartphone, be right. careful. But even though you might share it with your friends or whatever, it's mm-hmm. still somewhere living in the universe. Yeah. Now, from the brand perspective, again, it's still up in the air if they really had good intentions or bad intentions. Right. From what I know, mm-hmm. but I look at I, I'll but having the the perspective of brands that have done have capitalized on situations the right way. It's like you always go back to like Oreo when the when they had the Super Bowl and they did the blackout of this like the electricity went off mm. and then Oreo swooped in and say you could still dunk in the dark. Mm. Like that was yeah. a classy <laughs> right, right. that was a classy way to really go viral on that. That was true to Oreo's brand. They didn't offend anybody. Um, you know, it, it just was taking capitalization of the other scenario. And there's a few other things too. I guess it gets a little bit more weird when you bring people in, in the mix. Um, because right. anything is like meme worthy right now. Yeah. We live in a meme culture. We live in a meme, uh, meme culture. Um, a meme, meme, a mean, mean, <laughs> meme, meme culture. Memes. And like Correct. I said, like again, I saw people doing this Florida, Florida. Th- when I when the Florida thing first came up, I thought it was like honestly, like another shooting or something like that. When I first, oh. yeah. So, so, so I mean, besides wow. the Grammys, you know, just working, but like. Because the, the the I can even talk the the first thing I saw was like Alan Wallace shared like it was like uh, a picture of Florida but it was all black now I understand why as in uh, all of Florida is one place right. but um you got to be careful babe. like I mean like I, again I can't speak to Alive's intentions I know they've they've capital they've been capitalizing a lot of stuff mm-hmm. in the community it may be one of those things where it's like a gut check to be like okay do we really need to capitalize on everything um. I really, I really don't know too much about that, but definitely from the personal side with the cyberbullying, you got to be very, very, very careful. Very careful. My, my personal opinion, I don't, I can't say for sure whether or not it was good intentions, but mm-hmm. I know major corporations, and uh, the only good intentions they have uh, bottom line pertains to their bottom line. You understand? Uh-huh. Anything that they can do to generate more revenue, they would. And so I think they were looking at it from a business standpoint. They understand that, like Dazi said earlier, attention is currency. Mm-hmm. And they saw that this individual was getting a whole lot of attention. And they, in my opinion, decided, listen, we need to swoop in and try to capitalize as best as we could on this situation. I don't think it was necessarily to say, well, oh, look at how this girl is being bullied. And let's let's go in and save and let's teach people a lesson and show About them cyber how you can take something right. bad and turn it into something good. I think they were just focus on the amount of attention and gathering that attention to, so that they can benefit their company. All right. So but it's next, okay for it to be both. Yeah. It's and, okay. Yeah, and sorry, sorry, you were going to say something, Travis? Go ahead. Yeah. No. So I was thinking about the next example going back to my mind. So it was like a few months. Uh, yeah, read the thing. Um, a few months ago, it was like this kid who was in the States, white American. You mean Jab- Jabbat? Oh, oh. No, who got <laughs> bullied um, at school. Yeah. And then he went viral. I can't remember exactly what it was. But yeah. then it kind of back countered because they found out his mother was like a racist or something like a that. A white supremacist. Like yeah. a white supremacist <laughs> and stuff like that. Oh, you mean the little uh, the, Keaton? Yeah, the Keaton dude. Like, funny looking all the yeah. celebrities oh, came out and yeah. wanted to jump on the bandwagon. And then- so like, I remember vaguely like the UFC as a brand tried to capitalize on that in terms of like inviting him to, because I think... UFC 200 or whatever was Everybody happening that was same weekend. Everywhere. Everywhere. But then by further expense, uh, and that's the thing about being online, like they looked into his mother and found out she was Which a white supremacist. nothing to do with him. Yeah. Nothing to do with him. Do but that doesn't mean he still isn't. No, no. You know, that had everything really to affected. do with him because he was calling the other little kids in the class nigga and they beat him down. So he taught him that. <laughs> and it's so much more to, you don't, it's so touchy, but in the, the world we live in right now, but it's like, one thing is fake news. Next thing is like you don't know. It is. Yeah. But guess what? Guess what? It doesn't matter, you know, because all attention is currency. Let me tell you why. Right now, we're doing a whole free show. We don't say alive must be seven thousand times, right? So even if it's just criticism, it's like the Donald. I call it the the, the rule of the Trump, right? So no matter what it is, you're still talking about him, which is making it more viral which True. the spotlight is on them. So it doesn't really matter because see, top of mind is what a lot of brands go for. And it, that's very expensive if you were to do it the paid way. So the best way to do it is to get involved in controversy. You would be surprised. I actually have a client. I've signed an NDA with them. 
a non-disclosure, but they basically hired me to say, listen, can you cook up, what kind of scandal or rumor could you cook up? You know, what kind of bad press can I get? And it is my job to think about things randomly every couple, um, however they wanted weeks or months, you know, to kind of put something there because they want to get attention. That's all it is. They don't care. They're not, they're not in the Bahamas, by the way. They don't care what it is. (laughs) They they just want that attention. Yeah. They're like, listen, put something out there. So the bloggers could talk about me, you know? Um, and they, they call me one. They were like, do you think we should um pull the gay card is that too much you know do you think and i'm like what like what? you really you really I mean, are this committed to this lifestyle yeah you know what i mean i get so that. yeah yeah i get that too but again it really like okay so that's that's the thing about virality virality is, yeah. like, is temporary like it's in a moment like correct and so your question is do you want to if, or if, if it's like a one-off product or a thing or event, Correct. you just wanted that one time, are you trying to play the long game? Like what, Correct. what are you going to do? That's going to be consistent over time that people always remember you for. And that's, and that's the thing, especially with a lot of new brands coming in is that they want to get famous really quick, you know, yeah. this is like, you know, being consistent over time. Correct. All right. So um, we have a comment here. Gail says, I can't even remember what Bahamians was mad about last week, Friday. Sex dolls. Oh, fire. Oh, sex. Oh, see, fire. We got to, but that's the thing. We live in, we live in the age where so much information. Everything now has a very short lifespan mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. next week is going to be something else. Yeah. It's going to fade. You know what I mean? This is going to have us run for this week. But that isn't. Next week's going to be something else. And for that me, isn't what? Be, because it's going to fade, does that mean, you know, it's not a big deal? Forget about it. Oh, no, a, no, I'm not saying it's not a big. No, I'm not. No, I, I was me, just asking. Like, I was me, not, like, you mean for her? I looked at it. I looked at it as viral content, right? I, I look at. I look at. I looked at it as pop culture content mm. because it wasn't that she was targeted by a group of people that filmed her and then put it out there. She did it herself, right? Mm. So again, like you were saying, in this smart <laughs> culture, you have to be smart about the decisions you make and what you put out there in the public domain, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the Correct. fact that it went viral, it just by it just by chance. It could have been one of those things that got twenty five views and everybody moved on. The right person saw it. The right person Correct. got in the network and it just went and went nuts. Um so mm-hmm. the cyberbullying aspect of it, I'm not buying it into it. Um certain people could be horrible. Yes, I think cyberbullying is and I don't like to assign labels to things mm. that are serious in nature because I see it mm. in real life and what how would it affect people. Right. Um, right. So I don't like to to wear out the name in case people are actually suffering from this type of yeah, thing. Yeah, you definitely don't cry to, wolf. Well, exactly. So, I, oh no, I've seen the yeah. memes. They so, bullying her. My particular, <laughs> yeah, Listen, I mean, it, my thing is, okay, you said it was a video where she cried. Yeah. Right? Then, okay, then that is a case where it may be the case. You know, yeah. I'm not labeling well, someone, to say, someone, make snot, it, you can make fun of anything. Someone's not getting they, snotty they had, nose and then getting ready to go party because she's Miss Florida. They had a video. <laughs> 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 she's not Hey, everybody process is saying different. What's your problem? Um, she says she got bullied. Uh-huh. That, she got bullied. She's playing a game. She's, she's the person who did yeah, the video. she's loving the attention. If I was to call her right now and say, Miss Florida, she has a thousand dollars. Hold on now, Jay. You. She, could, she, could, she could go in the front of the camera on one of my music videos and say, Florida, Hold on. Florida, Florida. Hold on. Uh, is she is she is she loving the attention? She's loving because it. because from she what you got, you making a lot of Miss Florida. No, but hold on. I, I heard what Dazzy said. Yeah, yeah, what Dazzy said that's earlier. That's not an assumption. That's a fact. Hold on. You're projecting Jay. Yeah, but hold on. Florida, hold on, but hold on, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, right? Because you said she loves the attention. Now, from what I heard Dazzy say earlier, she w- she was, you know, she wanted to quit her job. She went through stress. She was crying. It was it was tough. Yeah, but but did she quit her job? Yeah, but if someone wants to commit suicide, is that not as serious as someone that actually did? I mean, the fact that you're thinking about suicide means that something isn't wrong. Because say, you don't I'm go saying, through, don't mean that no, there isn't I something wrong. I didn't say she was thinking about that. I just know that the job part. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Would you say, Dazzy? Sorry, go ahead. No, I'm saying I never said that she wanted to commit suicide. All I'm saying is I think Jay is projecting because see, he's defining things that he doesn't know not of. So let's just say she accepts 
whatever phone from a lie. Mm -hmm. I don't mean she's loving the attention, but exactly. it's like, well, I might as well get something. Exactly. You know? That's what I was trying to I get at. I might as well take the picture. She's trying exactly. to regain a little bit of dignity. Exactly. That, and that's what I was trying to get at. Ah, Lord. Jay, you don't got no empathy. All right, God. You cannot Zero. No, but it's a, it's a matter like this, right, Jay? Let's be, let's be real. If you go on it, on it. No, but let's be real. That's not everybody's you, personality, Jay. Exactly. And let's be, let's be honest. If you, if you are put in a position like that, right? Something like this happens to you, right? You didn't want it. You didn't intend for this to happen. No. But you see an opportunity for you to benefit from it in some way, shape, or form. Then Would you not? not take advantage of that opportunity? And like we just said, these things don't last very long. So while it lasts, would you not? It already it, the damage has already been done. So would you not take advantage of the situation? But I see less as taking advantage and more just salvaging some dignity. But but it's but it's, it's turning something negative into something, something positive. positive. That's yeah, what we're saying. But it can be both, like and I don't but, see a problem. But you say like, oh, I think for him are... so she partying in the nightclub as Miss Florida. Okay. So forget any like forget <laughs> like yeah. for, forget showing her mercy. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly that's, what that's, it is, and they don't want her to have any. For the record, since we don't have any sponsorship yet, that's fucked up. Jay. Yeah, Jay, I don't, <laughs> I don't agree with that. I don't even know what her real name is. I don't. Right? So, wow. if this was something to say, you know what? Let's show some love and support for X, Y, Z person, right? Mm. And not Miss Florida. I was in fine, but you can't say you're a victim of cyberbullying, which is a very real and serious thing that a lot of people suffer every single day, right? People suffer from this thing. People want no. I want. I want. Here, where you going? Yeah, with but, and and you huh? want to capitalize. What? And then when you it's, feel when it's so convenient with her you, mind. You know what I'm You jump it in and out when it's convenient. You yeah, but Jay, what is the quantifier for that? What do you need her to do? Exactly. And, that, you feel as and another that thing, too, that's not fair. What is this? I, exactly. I would like her to own a persona and take the good with the bad. No, but that's the and thing. And then you can say she capitalized it again because that's so, another thing. Exactly. <laughs> this is a no win, Jay. Yeah, Jay, you can't. You, it's Kim Kardashian. There's no pleasing uh, you. It's Kim Kardashian, the Jay. victim of cyberbullying. Jay. Jay, what? she is, yes. That's, that's apples and oranges. She is. Now, the no, thing. See, what did you hold on. Say? She was? <laughs> Jay, Jay, see, uh, okay, here's, what? let me, sh let me show you where it's going wrong, right? But Jay, what you're saying is. Hold on, hold on, drop it. Here's where it's going, here's where it's going wrong. Jay, it's like Jay showing no mercy. So no Jay, put, so put yourself, I, put, put, I have no sympathy put yourself in their shoes though, if it happened to you. Let me, let me. If I make a mistake, and if I say something wrong, if I make a. Hold on. Kumasi, like, I know what, I know what Jay doing wrong. Viral, hold on, Jay, hold on, Jay. And this, if it goes viral and people bullying me. Jay. Hold on, hold on, ladies Listen. and gentlemen, just do me a favor. When you go home tonight, go on Netflix, watch this series called Black Mirror. You will have a different perspective on a lot of. Let me let me, bring, let me bring let me bring it let me bring in some perspective. Let me tell you what Jay doing. What Jay is doing is Jay is no Jay is judging cyberbullying based on the result, not the actual actions. So he's saying because you came out good or on the top of something. It means yeah. you weren't bullied. Where that is not correct, Jay. You can bully someone and they can turn it into I, something else, but that does not uh, make it not bullying. She was bullied, happen, but she capitalized on the bullying. She, she so, so trolled. you can't judge it off the. She was trolled. Listen. Did anybody go out of Hold on, hold on. Maliciously attacked Jay, woman? if I shoot you and you don't die, right? That doesn't mean I didn't shoot. You didn't get shot. You Yo, you thank you. Huh? You live. You live. So I, I shoot you while you mad, but you lie. You alive. You ain't dead. But did you die? Did you did die? You die? So did I not still shoot you? <laughs> but did you die though? <laughs> so you are you judging you judging a situation on the result, and that is unfair. So just because someone comes out on top doesn't mean that they weren't bullied. She was bullied, but luckily the uh, opportunity arose for her to actually at least get something out of the bullying. So, does he just say the, the girl was crying, and I heard you there were videos of her crying? I'm just saying is, once once you capitalize, if you're looking to capitalize, mm -hmm. you cannot be the victim. But no, 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 no. no, no. But she wasn't right. looking to capitalize right. the entire time, Jay. I don't think she exactly. wanted any of this. Exactly. I don't think, I don't so think she wanted any of this. <laughs> I don't think so. She <laughs> just got sweeped up and like in this. I agree with whirlwind Travis. Whirlwind of things happening. Yes, I agree with Travis. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree. Thought, obviously, I have been outnumbered and being bullied on this show. Okay. I believe Jay was making some of these memes, man. Like, I, I didn't make any of the memes. I commented, oh, okay. and what I thought it was, I, I thought it was embarrassing. Uh -huh. Um, I, I think that there has been a severe miseducation of our people. I think she's a victim of that. 
Um, and that's a real thing. And I've been championing that, championing that for a very, very long time, deliberately mm-hmm. by government, by the social elite in this country. Um, and that's just the fruit of that over 30, 40 years. Okay. Right? I agree. Um, we promote ignorance. Uh, the viral, viral content, vir- the viral movement in the United States and Canada all have has the same sy- symptoms. I was just gonna you see, say, you see, how, you see a lot of you see a lot of people that don't have talent and are not putting in the drive. They cash in from instances like this with that bad baby with the Atlantic twenty four million um twenty four million dollar deal from Atlantic Records. Can sing, can rap, but mm-hmm. she has a deal. Bad baby. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The girl who was uh, so, cursing out her oh, mommy and yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, yeah. Not, I'm, not, I'm just yeah. saying like this for the real people of bullying. Um, and all these other things, let's not wash the label thin mm-hmm. by assigning it to, in this case. Yeah, let me read. Um, yeah. She had a moment. Uh-huh. Next week, you don't care. But let me read Kentisha. Cyberbullying people will continue to do it. Well, yeah, for sure. But uh, Kentisha says, Gail, people with a mindset are the majority, but we are pan wagoners. People were laughing at her and never even leave Fox Hill because they wanted to feel better than someone else. And I agree. I, we have, and I say all the time, we have self-esteem issues in this country, and any little thing that we can make ourselves feel better about, we tend to do, even if it's putting somebody else down or capitalizing, ganging up on somebody when we see they're down. That some, for some reason, some people get a high out of that. It makes them feel a bit better than themselves, and um, I think this is just a result of that happening. Um, so <clears throat> I say kudos. Whatever she was able to get, you know, I'm not knocking it, uh, and I, I'm not for people, you know, calling her dumb and all of that, because we don't know people's circumstances. We don't know how they grew up. What, who knows? She might not have had her parents around. She might have had some tragedy in her life yeah, early on, never went to school because they couldn't afford it. So many things could have happened. how the outcome is Exactly. Now, we, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know the process. Fact, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know the process. And so we, we're too judgmental in this society. We, we're so quick to jump on people when we don't know exactly what happened. That's like me judging a famous person and say, oh, they had it good and they had it easy. You and know? you don't know. And you don't know, right? Yeah, they they rich now, but you don't know. Yeah, you don't know what they went through to get there. Through. Yeah, and um and and, uh, and about the yeah, yeah because I'd love to do it. I'd love to do it. Awesome. But as far as companies go, I think the company was just trying to capitalize. That's what companies do. Yeah, that's From what companies company do. Let me ask you a question, though. Yeah. Boom. I mean, let me ask you a question. No. Go ahead. Go ahead, Dazzy. What happened to the Johnsons endorsement deal? What happened? <laughs> Johnsons. I don't know. If we talk about bullying, but again, remember what happened? They faded. They- from attention. I don't know why they didn't get a deal. So if they, they nobody gave them nothing. That money from um, what the, what the, the thing name? They got money from somebody. Oh, you know what happened, Dazzy? The, the you know why they didn't get none? The GoFundMe. Eh? The GoFundMe. That was lit. But you know what else happened, Dazzy? They was in here, man. Uh, they was in Canada, man. And then they ran from the cold. <laughs> they was in here, so they couldn't they couldn't get it. But um, Lord, we done we done way over time. Jesus, look where the people just reach. We start rowing and people show up. Mother, say, people like people like juicy drama. Eh? Wait, wait, wait. So last, I like the comment Go ahead, by Petro. We have to work on teaching self love, because the bleaching and the exploitation will continue, and yep. someone else will just laugh and do nothing. Yep, and then we can get into that on under the rug. That's a deeper yeah, topic. Yeah, we can get talk about. Yeah, we can get. Well, the whole we can we oh, can dissect, dissect that whole, video in okay. its entirety. Okay. Um, I just wanted to talk about the business aspect for this show. You're when it comes to a, a live deal, yeah. So on a, well, I can't, on a, you can't say they, as a as a brand, well, if you, yeah, as a brand, really, and they use the image. Well, I mean, for okay. So as a content for viral content, that's it. So as a lesson for brands, mm-hmm. just don't think you could, or don't use your discretion when hopping on something like this and really ask yourself, yeah, be is careful. this good for your brand? Um, but she judged people who went to. Um, that is true. That is yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, we that break. But again, that's who said who said the comment? Who said the comment, Kishra? Uh, who said the comment? Oh, Keisha Kelly. Okay, Keisha Kelly said. Uh, but she ju- uh, judged people who went to Miami. And Keisha, we're gonna uh, discuss that on under the rug because um, this show is more so about entrepreneurship business. Um, so we we didn't get to that aspect of it. Oh, and we will. Like her at BCI every day. But, but they can build your house though. But we're gonna we're gonna get deep into that on under the rug. We just wanted we just wanted to discuss the business aspect and you know whether it's it's a good thing, whether it's exploitation or whether it's just capitalizing on a situation, how people ju- uh, judge companies that you know do these things where they pick up on these um, viral movements, whether they're positive or negative. And um, what was the example earlier? Bad Bobby. The the bad baby Bobby, however you say it, that just goes to show you that corporations only care about their bottom line. And this but is that's the, what that's the only thing. I mean, that's the main thing they're supposed to care about. I agree, uh, and I'm not. I'm not saying it's bad. You know, I'm not judging them for yeah. it. 
but that's a reality. It is what it is. I it agree. Is, yeah, it is what it is. So um, yeah, thank yeah, you, yeah, folks. Can, Go ahead, Travis. Yeah, no. So I was just reading Cantisha's and Alive was genius. It shows uh, as sympathetic towards her, and she gets so much positive attention, and they get to advertise again. That might be the case if the if you don't whatever the intention so of the organization sympathy. is. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just have good intentions, but I mean, because in any event, we may words. not even know what it is. Mm -hmm. Karma is a bitch. Mm -hmm. it'll, it'll, <laughs> it'll bite you in the ass if you have bad intentions. That's, just, that's, just, yep. that's what it is. Yep. That's just what it is. I, I just the day. always have good intentions, but be good people. Yes. yes. So if you're a business, don't, don't, don't just try to jump on any and everything. Think it out. Be careful. Uh, tread carefully. Don't just jump into it. Like I, I don't agree with the hashtag that Jay read earlier about break, break people is used the other company or something. Yeah. So I think I that was, that I think was that was dumb. a bad move. I called you dumb. You don't insult people you're trying to get to, uh, um, to support your business. That just doesn't make I sense. Agree. That's 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 terrible. But um, we can wrap it up because like I say, we way over. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks a million, Dazzy. I know I just called you just musty about an hour ago. You're always a trooper and always down for the cause. I appreciate no. you. Yeah, man, no problem. Appreciate. I like talking to y'all. Yes, and we love talking <laughs> yeah, to you as well. We appreciate your views and yeah, your perspectives. <laughs> um, Travis, it was so nice to see you this blue moon. I guess next, when the next blue moon is, Kitra. Maybe that's when we'll see Travis years. again. <laughs> Maybe we'll keep our fingers crossed. So like, let's. But it's always a pleasure to have you here in person. And Jay Isaacs, as always, we appreciate you. Appreciate your contributions. Even though you can be savage and mean at times, we appreciate yeah, that, that as well. That's why we love Jay, right? Yes, that's why we love him. You know what I mean? And we, we had a. <laughs> Hear that perspective and provide a different one. You understand? So at the end of the day, we all learn something from each other. And that's what this is about. Um, like I said, people, at the beginning of the show, please share the video. If you feel we have good discussions and we uh, give out good information, please share it. Tag your friends. I know you all share that um, Florida video. I know you ain't going to share this one as much, but at least share it sometimes so the people will be able to watch it. We appreciate your contributions. And until next time, losers make excuses. Winners make adjustments. Thank you for tuning in. Peace.